What is this, night two or three? And is there, does, do these little icons mean anything when they're moving? This is night two. One jumps, they like it. Ah, all right, let's see. Oh, okay, melody. Let's try Olipop. Daydream. Extreme. Rainbow. Unrestrained. Doki Doki! Graveyard. Crimson. Strawberry. Sensation. Really? Chocolate. Fuck. Charm. Treasure. Kawaii. Horror. Firefly. Anxiety. <laughs> okay, before I start with this, let's take a quick bathroom break. Give me like a few minutes. And I shall be right back. Everybody stretch your hands, stretch your back. And get a drink. Because we're going to come back and do this. Alright. And I don't remember the damn goddamn word, like what people like the most. I wasn't trying to. I really was trying to do Sayori a little more. God. Let's start a poll for right now. Who thinks I'm going to get what? Because I'm pretty sure it depends on the poems a lot, even though some of the discussion counts. I don't know yet if I like her fully. Sometimes the girl next door is okay, but sometimes it isn't. We'll see. So yeah. Let's... Stuff. Blah. Here we go. <laughs> now you pick pretty words. You pick pretty words. I like the way you think and write. <laughs> okay. This time. We're back. I am back. I'm back. Give me a second here. You're gonna have to endure my stupid white girl voice, though. Like, oh my god. You're like so fucking getting me pissed and shit. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I gotta keep like, it's, it sucks because I wanna hear the music surround sound, but I gotta keep one headphone out of my ear. That's just the way I voice act, so I can actually hear how well I'm voicing. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So did you guys think about who I was gonna favor or who I probably might end up with? The gods willing. Yuri? Okay. Nat. Looks like it's starting to be pretty divvied up. Sayori. Man, you guys are just picking every single other one. We'll see. We'll see what it has to entail. 
for The Anime Life of Richie, Captain Extraordinaire, Seeker of Literature, and po Poems. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Richie. Uh, yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> well, Ermine, you gotta remember, there's actually people on YouTube talking as well. I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you, anyway. Speaking of which... I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? A snack? Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> YouTube's a YouTube. It's a thing that's probably not gonna exist anymore because Papa Google is gonna take out his belt and smack it. Uh, no thanks. Eh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh, oh, oh! Bitch is trying to use me for my money! Oh, gold digger, Sayori, you lost points for that girl. You lost the points. Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, <laughs> Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. <laughs> then she turns it upside down and lets, the con it lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> you cheeky girl. I knew it. I could see right through you, Sayori. No, I could do better than that. <clears throat> I could see right through you, Sayori. Yeah, acceptable. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. 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 Why is it so hard to say the word giggles? Giggle, 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 giggle. Eh. Sounds like poof. Eh. Eh. I didn't notice that she was listening in it. Little, 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 I can't talk anymore. I need some water. Mm. Much better. I didn't notice that she was listening in it. Listening in. Oh, God, the water didn't help at all. Oh, wait, we gotta save you guys. Remember, permadeath. Her face is in her book as always. <laughs> I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Richie to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah! Uh, did I just... Uh, I didn't mean it like that. I got too absorbed into my book. I'm not doing no soft. 
She's totally going basic white girl, bitch. Mm. Ah. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind. Oh, wait, no, that's the other one. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. 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 It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. Okay, I think I can do a little chipper with Sayori. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That! It's still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Oh, ho, foreshadowing. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. B -b but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Whoa! Kya! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> For retribution. Whoops. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the can cake. Pancakes? Why did I say pancakes? Cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> N Natsuki. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Yum. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. So good! Mmm! Mmm! Sayori suddenly clasps her hand over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, your looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Oh wait, but yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Yum! Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Uh, hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes! Monica! Can you tell Sayori? Huh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? N not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Mmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh! 
Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so, so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up, anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it, since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Richie. Monica smiles sweetly. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Uh, not, not, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Richie! Richie! Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Want to come with me? Uh, supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica were gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Uh, sure. I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with Richie to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Aw, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too. Okay. Supplies. Okay. Ready, Richie? Uh, yep, let's go. On a scale of one to fuck, how annoying is the, the female voices? Because I feel like... <laughs> ah. Voice actor! Not really. I'm going to eat some more chocolate before I kill myself. Mmm. Yum. I guess, I, to understand the basic white bitch, waifu. I need to eat like a waifu. Killing in a good way or a bad way? Well, good, I'll take that. I think Poof is a lot like just not so okay, and she just wants pretty sparkles and all that, and to not hear this bullshit voice of mine. Yeah. So let's just get on with it before I kill a bitch. Sayori and I exit the club room. I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, 
It feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Uh, hey, Sayori. What exactly are we doing for the festival, anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Uh, yup. We're gonna go do a poetry performance. A uh, performance? Of what kind? Well, Richie, she just said fucking poetry. Jesus, even I thought that. Uh, well, everyone is gonna take turns on stage. And recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Richie, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like you say the lines of the poem, like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. This is getting kind of erotic. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like fuck. Like that. <laughs> Sayori. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Uh, you meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. It, I just meant that it's a pretty ordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah! I'm so excited! The festival is going to be so much fucking fun. We're going to rage and we're going to have ecstasy and all that. Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey... <laughs> My realistic hentai. <laughs> it's pretty good so far. Hey, Richie, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission! The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hole myself up in a room, my room more and more. So going adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. <laughs> <laughs> 